when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei brings you into the inner life of the world made flesh. Father Chris guides us in the lives of the saints in St. Liz series. Welcome in St. Liz series. Today, 5th of October, we celebrate St. Maria Faustina Kowalska. Maria was born on the 25th of August, 1905, to a very poor and devout family in Glagowicz. This was in Poland. She was the third of ten children, born during the period of the First World War. At her baptism, which the family saw as a beautiful faith journey for Maria, she was given the name Helena. At nine, she received her first Holy Communion and went to school only for three years as they could not afford her education. In order to support the family, she left schooling and worked as a housekeeper. She desired the religious life at an early age, but her parents would not give permission. She had a vision on the 1st of August, 1925, on the suffering of Christ, which made her take a bold step into the congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy in Krakow. And there, she took the name Maria Faustina. In the convent, she worked as a cook, as a gardener, as a porter, just doing the menial jobs there in the convent. Every task she was given, Maria carried out submissively. She had a natural a tranquil and a charming personality. She would always pray, Oh Jesus, I desire to reflect your compassionate heart, your heart full of mercy, and I want to glorify it. On the 22nd of February, 1931, Maria had a vision. And not just a vision, but she had a conversation with Jesus, who made her his secretary, his confidant, his messenger, his apostle, and his script writer. And she kept record of every encounter in writing. In the vision, Jesus instructed her to paint an image according to what she saw, and it should be an object of veneration and reminder of God's loving mercy, for the name of God is mercy and she painted the image of divine mercy, which we have today, of Jesus clothed in white garments, with his right hand raised in blessing, and his left hand touching his garments to the side of his heart, from where two large rays flowed, one red and the other pale. The two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for water, the water which makes souls righteous, that is actually baptism. The red ray stands for blood, which is the life of the soul, that stands for the Eucharist. The image and signature of Jesus was on the image. Jesus, I trust in you. Faustina was blessed with extraordinary gifts in the convent and she put all these gifts to the service of others. She received revelations, visions, stigmata, reading of the minds of other people, foretelling the future, and even physically, she faced the passion of Christ with him. She saw her giftedness as springing forth from her close union with the passion of Christ, with connection with the Blessed Virgin Mary and the angels and saints, and even souls in purgatory, and in fact, she would say, the entire supernatural world. From the messages she received from Christ, who called her the apostle and secretary of his mercy, she wrote in her diary that today, Christ is sending his mercy to the people of the whole world. She had three tasks, which were one, to remind the whole world of the merciful love of God to every human person. Two, 
imploring God's mercy for the whole world, especially sinners. And three, initiating the apostolic movement of the divine mercy by the show of mercy to one's neighbor. She recorded these requests in her diary. These were written the way Christ dictated them to her. Maria Faustina died of tuberculosis in Krakow precisely on the 5th of October 1938 at the age of 33. Her relics are preserved in the Sanctuary of Divine Mercy in Krakow. Though the church from the beginning has always pointed to the loving mercy of God, since Maria Faustina reawakened this in the life of the church through her mysterious encounter with Christ, reminding the world that the name of God is mercy. We today hold to Saint Maria Faustina as an image of reminder to the firm trust in the ocean of God's endless mercy upon us and on the whole world, and also a clarion call on us to live our lives showing mercy unto others. The three o'clock prayer of divine mercy is a call on us to hold to God's mercy. Let us trust God's endless mercy as we say, Jesus, I trust in you. Maria Faustina was beatified by St. John Paul II on the 18th of April, 1993, and he canonized her on the 30th of April, 2000. She is the patron saint of mercy, the patron saint of confession. The color of the day is white. What we offer the saints is veneration. Peace be with you. I am Father Chris, Vox Fidei. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei, God is in charge.